you right. It isn't like me to give up without even trying. I think I'm gonna court him. I care too much about him. Anyway I won't be able to forget him. Besides what if he somehow feels the same. I'm ruining my happiness by being scared. Thanks Jiminy. I never thought I would be receiving advice from you. I said smiling at Jimin. I never thought I would be the first person to know that you love Jungkook either. But you're welcome and good luck. He may seem strong but he's a bit soft person. Yeah I know he is. I said looking at Jimin. Then they reached Jungkook's apartment. And Tai again took Jungkook into his arms carried him towards his room. Jungkook is a deep sleeper apparently. Tai put Jungkook on his bed and took Jungkook's shoes off. I'm guessing you want to stay and take care of him right? Jimin said looking at Chai. And Tai nodded his head. I want to make sure he's alright. Tai said looking at Jungkook with loving eyes. Okay then I'm going now. You make him take the medicine. And make sure his fever doesn't get worse. Call me if you need anything. Hum okay. Tai replied and Jimim left the room. Tai took the medicine and some water. And walked towards the bed. Cookie wake up. Tai said while gently pulling Jungkook into a sitting position. Tai is it really you? Jungkook said opening his eyes and looking at Tai confusedly. Yeah it's me. Come on take your medicine. Tai said handing the medicine to Jungkook. Which Jungkook quickly took. What are you doing here? Jungkook asked sitting on the bed looking at Chai. You called me instead of Jimin. And I was worried. I helped Jimin to bring you here. And now I'm taking care of you. Oh sorry to bother you. And thanks for taking care of me. Jungkook said and started to get out of bed. You should rest. You are sick. I said worried for Jungkook. I'm just going to the bathroom. I want to change into more comfortable clothes. You can leave if you want. I'm just going to sleep. Jungkook said getting some clothes. I'll stay here to take care of you. Jimin already told me when to give you the medicine. And he told me to check if your fever gets worse. Tai replied as he don't want to leave. Oh, okay then be comfortable. Jungkook said walking to the bathroom. And closing the door. Tai got up to put the glass of water in the kitchen. Soon Jungkook came out of the bathroom walking slowly. Tai quickly went to help him. Still feeling dizzy. Tai asked look you at Jungkook. Hum a little bit. Tai walked Jungkook to the bed and helped him to get under the blanket. Then Tai was about to go to next room when Jungkook grabbed Tai's hand. Tai looked back at him. Can you stay with me here? I don't like to be alone when I'm sick. Jungkook said looking at Tai with his puppy eyes. Like Tai would refuse him though. But instead Tai just nodded and got in the bed next to him. Tai is taking care of me. That makes me so happy. He is so concerned that's so cute. I had to go into the bathroom to stop myself from jumping at him. I escaped to the bathroom and gave him an opportunity to leave. But he decided to stay. Could this mean he likes me too? I decided to just go with the flow. So I changed quickly and left the bathroom. He helped me get into my bed since I was still feeling a bit dizzy. I was afraid he was going to go. So I said the first thing that came to my mind. He actually listened and climbed into bed with me. 
I decided to enjoy this moment to the fullest. Besides, I'm sick so that could be my excuse. I got closer to him and he just stared at me. I wrapped my arms around his waist and put my head on his shoulder. You're so warm. And so comfortable. I said closing my eyes. I felt him wrap his arms around me. And pulled me closer. I wish we could always stay like this. Thinking all of this I drifted off to sleep again. And when I woke up I saw Ty was still hugging me. I look at his sleeping state. I wish I could wake up like this every day. I stayed like that just enjoying the moment for a while until his phone's alarm start ringing. Ty quickly got up and reached for his phone with one hand to turn it off. Sorry for waking you up. But it's time to have dinner. So you can take your medicine again. Let me check your fever. Ty said raising his hand to touch my forehead. You're still warm. But it's not that bad. I think with some medicine you'll be okay tomorrow. Since when did you become a doctor? I said jokingly. I can be anything you want. Ty said staring at me in the eyes. We were really close since I was still cuddling him. Suddenly he looked at my lips. And then we both started to lean slowly. But that's when Jim and Hyung walk inside my room. Ty oh shit I ruin the moment. I just wanted to drop off some dinner for you too. That's why I came back. But you two continue your business. I won't interrupt again. I'm going. Jim and Hyung said and left the room. Me and I feel embarrassed. Um let's go to eat. I said getting up from the bed. Avoiding the embarrassment. Ty followed me and we sat down to eat at the table. We were both silent during the whole meal. When we were done Ty gave me the medicine again. I sat down on the bed thinking if I should talk to him about our almost kiss. Or if I should pretend it never happened. I should leave now. Good night Cookie. Ty said starting to gather his stuff. My heart couldn't take it anymore. I was fine loving him from afar. But today he gave me so much hope. Why did he have to come? Why did he take care of me and seemed so worried? Why did he almost kiss me? This couldn't end like this. So that's it. I said looking at him sadly. He stopped and looked back. What else do you want? He said looking at me concerned. I'm nothing. But I want to tell you one thing. Once you open that door and leave. I'll make sure we never cross same paths again. I was done pretending there was nothing between us. Cookie what do you mean? Ty said stepping back from the door. See what you're doing. You are playing with my heart. You can't just give me hope. And then smash it in a couple of seconds. That's too cruel. I said and I could feel the tears welling up in my eyes. Ty went up to me quickly and wiped the tears that started to fall from my eyes. I pushed him away. And he looked so sad. Just leave Chai. What are you still doing here? I questioned him madly. Cookie I don't understand what's happening. Just tell me what I did wrong. So I can fix it. Ty said looking at me desperately. You gave me hope. Tell me Chai. Why are you treating me like you like me huh? You could have called Jim and Hyung instead of coming to me. You should have left after that. Without coming here and take care of me. You shouldn't have cuddled me to sleep. You almost kissed me. And now you just want to leave. You can't just do that to a person. I was fine. 
when I was sure you don't like me back. But after today I was thinking that maybe I should confess to you. Maybe I have an opportunity. But looks like I was wrong. My love was one-sided for you. You just go please. I said not looking at him. Could he listen to me first? I said coming closer to me and hug me. I started to sob in his arms. I felt so vulnerable right now. He waited for me to calm down a bit. I love you. I whispered. And I pushed him again and looked him in the eyes. Don't joke like that with me Chai. I'm not joking. It's the truth. I was just scared you were gonna be mad about our almost kiss. That's why I wanted to leave. I've loved you for a long time. Just didn't confess to you as I don't know how you feel about me. I said and he looks sincere. Ty you handsome alien. You made me suffer for a long time. And it turns out you love me. We have lost so much time. And, Jungkook's words was cut off by Ty's passionate kiss. And Jungkook melted into the kiss. Forget about the time we wasted. Now what's important is that we confessed our feelings. So Cookie will you be mine? After breaking the kiss Ty cut Jungkook's cheeks and said in sweet voice. What kind of question is that? Of course I will. Playfully hit Ty's chest Jungkook said with a cute pout. Ty smilingly grabbed Jungkook's neck and kissed him with so much love. Jungkook also kissed him back. But suddenly Jungkook tapped Ty's shoulder indicating him to broke the kiss. Ty broke the kiss and looks at Jungkook with confused look. Jungkook looks at him with concern and said, Ty you will be get sick. Don't kiss me now. You chose the wrong time to make me confess my feelings for you. Now let's get sick together. Leaning closer to Jungkook's face I said in his deep husky voice. Jungkook blushed after hearing Tai's words. Tai smirked seeing Jungkook's blushing face. And kissing Jungkook for it I said. I love you my love. Be by my side always. I love you too. I love you the most. I will be by your side always. Looking Tai's eyes Jungkook said. And then he hugged Tai tightly. Tai also hugged him deeply. Both are feeling so happy to express their love for each other. Let them be happy together always. Take it forever. The end. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and share. Because it would inspire me to write more FF like this. Purple you all my purple soul tea cookers.